Ready to kick your internet radio game to the next level? Well, the future is talking, and it's saying... Get your station on a smart speaker. Like right now. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and with a jaw-dropping 200 million smart speakers out there, it's definitely smart time for you to get in on this action. And who's leading the charge? Well, Amazon's Echo. And that's good news for us because it's the one smart speaker we can actually get our radio stations on. Now, worldwide, sales of smart speakers are soaring. I'm talking about an annual increase of over 40%. But the real mic drop moment, over 45% of Americans already own a smart speaker and most of them use it to play music on. That's a lot of ear holes. So we need to make sure that they can actually find your station. Coming up, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create a radio skill for Alexa and ride those airwaves into the future. And because I'm such a giver, I'm gonna break down my on-air promos that I use to spread the word that my station, Triple X80s, is now smart speaker accessible. So if you're ready, well, let's do this. Alexa. Play Radio DJ Dude's video about smart speakers. Is that really the best video you can find? Sad. We are on the air. So first up, you have to create your Amazon developer account. Honestly, I don't remember creating one. I just remember signing in with my Amazon username and password to the Amazon developer website. But even if you did have to sign up, ugh, it's pretty simple. But in the future, you don't want to sign in just to the regular Alexa developer console because you'll end up on this page and you'll be digging around for where's the radio skills kit. And it's, it's pretty confusing. So I'm going to drop this link in the description and it's going to get you to the right hot spot, which is the Alexa radio skills kit and i think you're truly going to be amazed how simple this process is now if you tried this a couple years ago not so much the case more coding ninja skills were required and it was pretty off-putting and intimidating but today you're just one click away from having your station booming on smart speakers all over the globe first up your station name now for alternate names this is really important when i first tried this Hit a wall, didn't work, Alexa couldn't find the station. So I knocked on support's door thinking, yeah, right, someone from Amazon's going to get back to me? Wow, mad props to their support team. Within 24 hours, I had a response, they were on it, they were engaged, and they fixed my problem. I'm not sure if this was the problem, but I added the spelling of 80s to this third station name, and that seemed to help. But you can have up to five different names. Maybe a listener might call it X80s. Come up with a couple logical variations just so you're covered. Okay, moving on. Call sign. If you're not a terrestrial station, just enter your station name again. Mine's triple X80s. Frequency. If you're not an AM or FM, Amazon suggests you enter 0.0, .0 as your frequency for an internet station. Band, not applicable. Enter your city. Country. This is fun. Go dust off your old camping compass and figure out where you are. Or use Google to do the task. This is supposed to be the coordinates of where your radio station is located. Boom. Language. And if you ever get tripped up, you come here on the right and there's some helpful drop downs with more information. So for the locale, they're saying it's a combination of the language and country where the station should be playable for Alexa. So for me, it should be English U.S. Now, allowed countries is interesting because let's say you have a hosting service that also provides music licensing, like Live 365. Well, you're not getting free music licensing in every darn country on the globe. No, no, no. They're only able to provide that for a handful of countries. If you want to be ultra conservative, you could just enter the country codes which are covered by those licensing agreements and then essentially block every other country not covered by the licensing from tuning in. So, I mean, this would be U.S., I think Great Britain is included, so is Canada. Then we'll move on. Genre. They allow you to choose three genres you'd like to be listed under. And you could just type some of these in. 80s for me. I want to also add pop. Maybe classic rock. 
There we go. Locked in. Station art. Ideally, this should be a 600 by 600 pixel JPEG or PNG file. And you just have to put this in a folder somewhere on your website, maybe a, a Google Drive, and you enter the URL right there. Next up, station slogan. Triple X 80s. Extreme 80s fun. Stream domain. This may have also tripped me up. This is really important to get this right. And the super helpful documentation should set you up for success. It's not an IP address. Can't be a link, which requires a click to start the playback. It should be an HTTPS URL. And most important, it should be a link that serves up a stream with these formats. I mean, some of the more popular ones, of course, MP3, PLS, M3U. And you'll get that information from your host. So in my dashboard of Live 365, clicking over on the Listen tab, this is where I could find the links that I'll need to drop in the stream settings. So right down here, you see PLS, M3U, and ASX as options. But originally, I clicked on the quick link, which was a big old fat dummy move, because I don't think that was the right format. I'm choosing to use an M3U stream. Then you could say no for custom skill depreciation. And then you click submit, and you're off and running. And I know you're chomping at the bit. When? When can I yell at my speaker? Well, it could take anywhere between 24 and 72 hours to be live. Now, there is one big old butt shaking right in your face. Anyone with a station in the UK or IE, oof, be patient. It could take up to three weeks to complete this process. And that's really the whole radio skills kit and caboodle. <laughs> No moss. It's hard to believe some services want to pick your pocket for like $149 to set this up. You have totally got this. In under 10 minutes, you could be rocking and rolling. So here's a site that's running a sale for $49 instead of $149. I mean, that's not horrible if you just don't want to tackle this tech, but I, come on, I really think you got this. Another feature they serve up is access to this cool analytics dashboard. So you could track how many times people call up your station and how long they listen on average per day. Granted, mine went live about two days ago. So you could see not very impressive stats yet. So one obvious way to boost these numbers is to get the word out that your station can now be heard on a smart speaker. Checking out triplex80s.com, you will see the addition of this little gem. I also have it on my totally rad quest page. You definitely want to get the word out about this feature because more and more people are consuming content on their smart devices. And of course, the obvious next place where you'll blast the news out is on your radio station. Well, let's bounce now over to Adobe Edition and take a bite out of some fun promos I just put together. And that's the key. You really should have fun with this. Personally, I think you should have fun with every aspect of your online radio station. There's no point in being bland and generic because 90% of the online radio stations are serving up exactly that. Dry mashed potatoes. Your goal is not to be another generic jukebox. You got to serve up something fresh, unique, fun. Give your listeners a reason to tune back in. Offer them something they cannot get anywhere else. So don't cheap out on the creative. Okay, this radio rant's over. <laughs> Let's get to these promos. My style has always been self-deprecating. If you can't make fun of yourself, then come on, what's the point? And if a brand new listener is tuning in and this is the first thing they hear, they're going to say, oh my God, this station has a sense of humor. If you can grab them right off the bat with creativity and fun, you have a greater chance of holding them. Now you can have extreme 80s fun on your smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play Triple X 80s. Wow, is that really the best station you can find? Triple X 80s is so freaking high tech, you can now listen on your smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play Triple X 80s. Cheesy 80s music, are you serious? You can now listen to Triple X 80s on your smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play Triple X 80s. 80s music? Gag me with a spatula. Alexa, it's a spoon. Whatever. So the ingredients list on these are pretty simple. It's basically my voiceover, some imaging, sound effects, and work parts, and an AI voiceover that's somewhat similar to Alexa's voice. So let's start there. The screen recording you're seeing right now was recorded when I was propped up in bed one morning when I had this nutty idea and I said, well, is this possible? Let's just get this cranking. I want to see what this sounds like. Cheesy 80s music. Are you serious? And I was pretty impressed. 
And, you know, almost any radio station that promotes their smart speaker service really has the same copy. They always say, hey, make sure to listen to us on your smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play, insert station name here. So that's fine. You could use a generic building block, but don't leave it there. Kick it up a creative notch and tag it out with something fun and fresh, like these unexpected responses from (laughs) fake Alexa. Triple X 80s is now booming on your smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play Triple X 80s. Why would I want to play cheesy 80s music? Okay, I have six of those. We're going to put them in rotation in Radio DJ and get the word out. And we'll see how this tracks over the next couple weeks. So the big moment, does it work? Well, I've placed the speaker in a very strategic spot. So in case it doesn't work, well, I've got a lot of liquid support on hand. Okay, hit it. Alexa, play Triple X 80s. Play Triple X 80s. Totally awesome radio. Yes, success. The crowd goes wild. Okay, you haven't heard this one yet, but I think it's pretty funny. One unintended consequence of naming my station Triple X 80s. Well, you get some fairly interesting results when you Google it. We'll leave it at that and let Alexa play off it. How freaking exciting. You can now listen to Triple X 80s on your smart speaker. Just say, Alexa, play Triple X 80s. Sorry, I don't play granny porn. No, it's not granny porn. Come on. It's 80s music. I love that. Okay, we did it. Now it's your turn. Go get your station's smart speakers plugged in. With the crazy amount of competition, our top priority should really be making it super easy and convenient for people to listen to our stations. We have to meet our listeners where they already prefer to consume content. And since 80% of people use smart speakers to rock out, well, that's a lot of future potential listeners we've got. And since it's free and really takes less than 10 minutes to do, it's really a no-brainer. So please, plug your station into the smart speaker revolution today. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and if you actually come up with some cool and creative smart speaker promo ideas, well, I'd love to hear about them. Just drop them right down in the comments. Now, if you found this video, let's say maybe two or three notches above mediocre, well, that's a big success, and I expect a like and subscribe from you. I'll give you a second to do that. Okay. Appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in. And until the next time we meet, I want you to do only one thing. And I think you know where this is going. Keep rocking those mics all over the world. 